give me a target date, give me a give me an opportunity to have an athlete ready for a couple of drills or a couple of skills that they need to be 100% ready to compete. I love that stuff. We, we we certainly define like what the combine is, and then we define what the combine isn't. So it's your it's your validation that you actually can handle the NFL in terms of your athleticism. Would I rather play football? Would I rather get a day job? You know, I'd rather play football. It doesn't seem as much of a grind because you're waking up and you're going to do exactly what you love every single day. And knowing that makes you work even harder because you want to be able to do what you love as a job. Yeah, that? We don't let the combine define us. Like that's that's very important. Whether you go higher than you were projected or lower than you were projected, we never let the combine define that experience. Once we get to the show. Like go everything everything goes forward. Everything forward. And when in the interviews like don't, this is this is this is a great opportunity for you to say, hey, what what's what's a weakness? What's something you need to work on? My, my technique. I need to continue to get better at running routes, you know. I I'm, I've been I've been studying, I'm a student of the game, but I really want to make sure that, you know, I've got I've got my fundamentals. I think you can always continue to work on that. Easy and knees up, Trey. Knees up now. Good. Knee up, put that force down to the ground. Three, two, one, bring it. Center, center. Keep your core tight. Jog in. 70%. Two, three, four. Come on, Alex. Inside leg now. No, you did not. That was, that was the shit you were pulling yesterday. What you think, Coach Tripp? Who you got? You got Boise or Oregon? Oh, 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 oh. You're just trying to overpower it, Tyler. You just got to let the let that drill come to you. So the 5105 is just a, an expression of, of lateral speed and uh, body awareness, um, proprioception. And so, you know, the NFL really looks to make sure that these guys have practice, studied, taken the reps to run the drill effectively. Um, and then their, their, their time is a good indicator of um, not just their power and, their, and their, their speed, but also their mobility. So, you know, you gotta have good ankle mobility, you gotta have good hip mobility, um, you, gotta, you gotta have healthy knees to run the drill. So it, it, it showcases a lot about the athlete. Nutrition is a big part of things. So like when the athletes come in, we tell them all like how their goals are set up to where we need you to be at a certain weight, either they have to gain weight or they have to lose weight or stay the same. So like they need to be eating their meals and following, make sure they're not going out and eating other things. And they have to take it into account that like, this is part of your job. Like you need to make sure that you need to eat and get the nutrition that you guys need. We wake up, we train all day, we have all our meals cooked. I mean, that's a huge piece for me coming from a FCS school. We don't get any type of meals provided for us through the school, so it's nice to be able to have that service to us. The lid, yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> so what we do is they've gave us all of the breakdowns of the macronutrients, and so he portion all of these numbers here are uh, serving sizes, essentially. So. We have our three guys here. I think they're all linebackers, aren't they? Linebackers? Uh, linemen. Linemen? Yeah, linemen. Linemen. See, I, I don't play football, so I'm like, I have no, no idea. Those but are our bigger guys. These they, are the big guys. That's all I know. These are the big guys. So they have four protein uh, portions and five carbohydrates. Their fat count is up to eight. So it's, it's a big meal. It's a meal that maybe two, maybe even three people could split. So it's huge. And of course they get a treat every now and then. We always give them fruit. Uh, today we have some whole milk yogurt, and this is a grass-fed whole milk yogurt. Has chia seeds on top, some raw honey, and organic strawberries and blueberries. And the yogurt, we don't buy any sweetened yogurt. We sweeten it ourselves. We add the honey in. I added honey, a little uh, vanilla, 
and a little cardamom. So put in, we also utilize spices in a way that helps promote healing and longevity, health, all that stuff. All the vibrancy that they need. Go, Alex. Come on, man. Down. Set. Better. That's better. That runs in Galway. Ooh, you see how quick that was? Man, Floyd. Just testing you. Learn from you. Saturdays we reserve for uh, actual football drills, which you know is is uh, an important part of obviously what we need to showcase uh, at the combine. Flipping and then you're shuffling, but you're keeping your eyes on the guy. Just give, you don't want to turn your shoulders all the way. Try to keep your shoulders as square as possible. So we have four groups. We have an offensive line group, um, and we have a 49er uh, legend, Guy McIntyre, work with those guys uh, to, to refine some of the drills that they'll see. Uh, and then we have uh, a tight end and, uh, and wide receiver group over here, kind of running through the, the, the routes that we've got uh, that we're going to be featured in the combine. Zach Ertz is working with Austin Hooper over here, uh, which is great. You know, they, this, those two providing uh, providing some competition down the road, and, and Zach mentoring Austin is, is exactly what we wanted to have happen. Go. Arizona called him yesterday. Yeah. Wanted to talk for 45 minutes. Austin is literally, I think, the number two client that we've ever had at California Strength. When I first opened the doors, his father played in the NFL. Um, he sought us out uh, because we we're Olympic weightlifting specialists and uh, wanted to give Austin that exposure. And so uh, when Austin was 11, he started at California Strength. It's, it's you, know, you get emotional just thinking about it. Like, And when you're in that room, when they do get their name called, you know, and they're like, they realize a lifelong dream. Like I'll never forget being in the room when Zach Ertz's name was called on that on that second day. It's like, you know, you watch this, you watch this stoic, just like driven, you know, uber professional young man like just get reduced to tears when when with a phone call and it's like, holy smokes! It's just goal attainment at the end of the day is what it's all about. And watching these guys go through the process, it's like. It's indescribable. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. Good. Good. Okay, prompt. Be on time. Like I said, in National Football League, let me ask you, it's the Golden Bears, Bears. If you're late for a meeting, what does your old coach do up there? Wait, bags for punishment? Or what do you do? What's he make you do? Uh, I would say... Wake up at 5 a.m. Wake up 5 a.m. Do well, some workout in the morning or something. Give it to the strength coach, basically. Oh, yeah, well, see, we don't. They don't do that in the NFL. You just you just walk in a meeting. You're 20 minutes late. Coach makes a note, gives it to the GM. GM gives it to the finance finance man, and you put it in your locker. Five thousand bucks. You got a lot. You're making a lot of money. I want to try to take some of it. You see. There's always going to be guys in this draft that obviously have issues. And if we just eliminated everybody with the issues, we probably wouldn't have a draft. So uh, we, we, we try to get to the issues. We try to see if we can resolve the issues by staying on top of them and monitoring once we get the player. We know what we've got to be aware of. Uh, a lot of the, and I, I always use this old, uh, old adage, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. Dress, individual workout, same way. Now, man, you may be invited to a team's facility. I want that suit and tie on. Give them a, uh, about a two and a half hour seminar. It's a motivational talk in regard to everything they need to know from the time they leave college until they leave the NFL. And things that I'm, um, I'm looking for in them as a player through their interview process and how I'm preparing them whenever they do meet general managers, coaches, and how they're prepared for what they're doing as they go on. You're going to see them down at, down at the uh, a combine, a group of the guys carrying on. We used to look for the clown. I used to put it in there, look for the clown. 
Those are the guys, they don't take his game that serious. You're not going down there to be a clown. You're going down there to do a job. And I'm going to show you as we go through what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're still looking for the good players. That's the first, that's the first thing that's uh, very important. They've got to be good players to get on that board. Uh, from there, we're then looking at how, what types of athletes they are because we don't really get to, to measure their athletic abilities and numbers. We, we put a uh, grade on them about what we think their athletic abilities are and then we go uh, and refine it down by finding out after they work out. Put that all together with the type of person they are. That type of person is found out in interviews and all the research we do in going through finding out about their character, work habits, competitiveness, their, uh, the type of uh, person they are off the field, and their, their passion, they love the game, things like that. Third and 15, we're on a 40, we're going in, man. I, I gotta get a score up here, okay? We're in the middle of the field. All right, call me a play. So, why has a five yard sit? This guy would move somewhere. Oh, oh, you got three guys back there. Oh, yeah, I can see the three guys up over here. Yes. Okay, that's what that's what you're gonna get, just like that. Awesome. Okay. What Ken does an incredible job of doing is making sure that these guys know right off the bat, like the NFL doesn't need you. I don't care how talented you think you are or what you think you're bringing to the table. The NFL doesn't need you. There's another one of you right down the street that, you know, we will we'll happily pay to show up on Sundays and play our game. You get a king's ransom to play a kid's game. It's the best job in the world to, 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 to be a part of. The NFL is such a special fraternity. Like, you guys are the fortunate ones. We never let the draft define us. Right, so I, I, I ingrained all these guys, like whether you are an, under, uh, an undrafted free agent or whether you're a second rounder, you know, whether you go lower than you thought or whether you go higher than you thought, you know, this is just an access point to get into the league. So, you know, not letting, not letting a high draft position kind of take some of the uh, edge off, you know, we still work with a chip on our shoulder. Not letting a low draft position kind of get you down and, and, and cruise into camp, you know, under, underappreciated or, you know, disrespected, you know, not letting that process define you necessarily. Um, it's what we have to do now, so it's the most important thing, but it's, it's not necessarily, you know, indicative of what your NFL career is going to be like. People put so much weight into the combine because it's the most important thing that they can see that's set in stone. I mean, a lot of guys are fortunate enough to get the invite into the combine, but a lot of guys don't. And uh, it's big for the guys that get invited, but there's also pro days of guys. I didn't have the best combine uh, athletically. Uh, I had great meetings and stuff with a lot of teams, but athletically I probably didn't have the combine, but then I went to pro day and crushed the pro day. Um, and Dave had a huge part in that. I'm not, I'm not satisfied just with going to the NFL. That's not something that's you know, that's, I mean, that's the first step, but, you know, the next step is, is trying to be the best player, you know. Uh, like, I want to be the best tackle. I want to be, you know, we just want to be the best as far as that goes. So it's, it's, it's that fight. It's that, I mean, it's just that goal, really, it's, that's more motivating. Whether that's going to happen or not, it's, it's completely up to me. It's like a one and only interview, you know. It's like you have to just hit it on the money, exactly, because you're training for one time to show what you have and what you can offer. You already had your season, you already played, you already showed the coaches on film what you can do, and now it's, you know, technical things. How high do you really jump? It's just the competitive nature of the game, competitive nature of the sport. I mean, if you want to be the best, you got to showcase it when the, the, when the lights are on. I mean, anyone can run a hot time, you know, when you're at local park or, you know, where you feel comfortable, but it's like, all right, if all eyes are on you, let's see how you perform, because that's exactly how it's going to be at the next level, so. I'm looking forward to my opportunity in Indianapolis. There, there, there is a point in these guys' careers where you know they're just told point blank, like, you're not good enough. Uh, we're looking for something else. What we tell all these guys, like from day one, football is something that you do. It's not who you are. This place transcends, you know, the idea that they're a football player. I care about them as as a person. Austin is Austin is family, and so um, watching him 
take this journey from you know, Pop Warner football player into De La Salle high school football player into Stanford, you know, into now the NFL. It's like there's there's not there's not there's not a better story, you know, than than that. It's you can't write that stuff. It's just too cool. The higher profile guys like a TJ Ward obviously winning his first Super Bowl um, you know he was our very first combine prep athlete um, you know that tugs at your heartstrings and watching him ball out on in the in, in, on the biggest stage imaginable the, the the Super Bowl you know that that kind of stuff is that's it's incredible they want people in the locker room that are not just great athletes but that are intelligent that are going to help uh, make sure that the brand you know stays the most important brand in sports in in the country right now there's there's the NFL is the NFL is it you know they're, they're the hot ticket sports is not it's not character building it's character revealing I've been able to see you know and help people kind of discover who they are through this process and it's just it's just a neat way to make a living I guess